A lot of times you may need to troubleshoot your computer to reset your Windows 10 installation or complete startup repair, change startup settings, launch Windows in safe mode, uninstall updates, do system restore, or recover Windows using system image. It used to be that you can just press F8 button during the boot process to select your boot options to continue with your repairs. But F8 button in Windows 10 no longer works since Microsoft changed the boot menu policy. The easiest way to reboot Windows into safe mode is to click the restart button while holding shift button on your keyboard. To reboot it into the safe mode, you need to click the restart button while holding the shift button on your keyboard at the same time. So I'm holding shift right now and I'm selecting restart and it takes me right into advanced options. Here I can reset this PC or choose other advanced options. You can launch Windows in advanced recovery mode by navigating into settings, updates and security, recovery, clicking advanced startup and clicking restart now button. To launch safe mode by navigating using the start menu, you click on the start menu, then select settings. Then you click on update and security. Here and you go to recovery. And in advanced startup option, you click on restart now button. Windows reboots into the safe mode. And from here you can select troubleshoot option and you have access to reset your PC or advanced options. If you need to boot directly into the safe mode, you can use msconfig tools in Windows 10. Keep in mind that in this scenario it will only boot you into the safe mode and you will not be able to access advanced startup and recovery options. To use msconfig and reboot into the safe mode, you type msconfig and launch system configuration. Then you navigate to the boot tab, check save boot, and you pick different save boot options that you would like to select and click apply and then click OK. And Windows prompts you to restart, you choose restart. And after restart, Windows gets you into the safe mode. So if I log in right now, I will be running Windows in the safe mode. If you'd like the content, please make sure to click the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Sometimes you may need to restart into safe mode right when you're working in advanced recovery mode in Windows 10. To restart Windows 10 into safe mode from advanced recovery options, you click on troubleshoot, then you click advanced options, and in advanced options you click startup settings. Here it shows you the list of possible options and one of them is enable safe mode. You click restart, and there are many different safe mode options here. For example, if you click 4 on the keyboard, it will take you into Windows safe mode. But for example, if you click 5 on the keyboard, it will take you into the safe mode with networking. And you can go down the list and select the option that you're looking for. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just click 4. And Windows restarts in the safe mode. You see the safe mode indicator once you log in in all corners of the Windows 10. To re-enable F8 button in Windows 10, you would need to re-enable what's called legacy boot menu policy on your PC. To do that, you would need to launch command prompt option and execute command. To re-enable old style F8 boot menu options, you need to change boot menu policy to legacy. To do that, you need to navigate to the Start menu and launch Command Prompt as an administrator. Once in the Command Prompt, you need to run this command. I'm going to copy it from the clipboard and then paste it right into Command Prompt. The command is bcd edit slash set and then default boot menu policy legacy Basically, we're switching our existing policy, which is new for Windows 10, into the old boot menu policy, which is now called Legacy. Once you run this command, you need to restart and hold F8 button. 
so I'm holding F8 button right now while Windows restarts. And now you see advanced boot options with a lot of choices. You can go into the safe mode, safe mode with networking, command prompt, boot logging, and uh, a lot of other options that's available. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.